So when you tomorrow's game, is it just the same amount of excitement you had three, four years ago when your first new Pong game ever? Yeah, I think maybe even more. Um, just because in high school, like, I never had the game taken away from me like that. So to come back from something like this um, and, and get to play again, I'm super excited. We've talked so much about you coming back, but I want you to get to brag about your teammates. And, uh -huh. and when you think about Aaliyah and Nika and Caroline and the ladies who kept this afloat last year, what do you want to say about them as that now you get to do this together? Yeah, just ex extremely grateful for them, for their resilience, their toughness, their mental fortitude to just handle everything that was thrown at them last year and to do it with such grace. Um, super proud of them and just super excited to do it all together um, and to be healthy at the right time and get the season started um, with a great roster ahead of us. And I think we're all just super anxious, super excited to, to finally get it rolling. How did you come out of the game on, on Saturday? Did you come out healthy, come out feeling good? You know, I know day after soreness, so it's unusual or anything like that? No, I felt great. I felt like I played like two minutes, so I felt <laughs> Like I wanted to play 29 more, so same old. Um, still have to practice here and there. There's some like patella tendonitis, um, soreness, but nothing out of the ordinary and nothing a lot of basketball players don't feel. How much prehab are you doing each I, day? I do a lot. Um, I'm still working with the same people I worked with while I was going through um, the rehab process just to make sure I'm staying on top of things and never get complacent. Um, and just always have an approach where I'm always trying to be preventative and make sure that my body's ready as much as I can. Do you drag any of your teammates along to share the process with you? Yeah, I think a lot of us um, do a lot of preventative stuff. Um, and Janelle has us doing stuff, Hootie has us doing stuff, so we're all making sure we're all staying on top of it, not just people who've been injured in the past. Was there anything that you did while you were out there Saturday that for you served this kind of a test that, yeah, I'm okay? Um, I think honestly just pushing the ball in transition. Um, that's how I turned my ACL. I was pushing the ball and try to decelerate um, and change direction. So just being confident in, in the full court, pushing the ball, um, playing with a fast pace and sort of being unafraid, um, I think was like one of the main things. Easy after the game was asked, like you know, that, that like moment anytime you go down and she kind of with a smile was like, no, everybody's got to worry about like her hurting them. She's so strong now. Comments. She's a funny gal. But <laughs> no, I, I mean, I feel confident in being able to withstand that. Not necessarily with be worried about the other person. But I feel confident in what, what I can handle. How have you been counting times this day? How have I? I mean, like, honestly, I, every day since, um, since I tore my ACL, since I had the surgery. The, I didn't have like a, a countdown, but mentally just counting down the days until I can work out again, be on the court, practice, and then eventually play, which is what every basketball player wants to do. So it's been a long, long process, around, around maybe like 570 days or something since, since I last played in the game. 584? <laughs> yeah, since I last played in the game, so that's insane to me. When you're going through the rehab and just grinding through it, and you think to when your next time on the court, your first real game back is going to be, what do you picture in your head? Is it coming out during starting lineups and the crowd cheering? Is it tip off? Is it just the small little moments in the locker room? What does your mind go to? Or I did think, it go to? like the adrenaline um, and just the excitement of being on the court again. I know those first couple shots I took was straight like. My body was still shaking, my, my nerves were still very much um, present. Um, but I think getting your name called in the starting lineup, hearing the crowd, um, and then tip off. And Usually for me, I get, I get nervous for all games and tip off when the ball tips, I sort of calm down. But last game, it, I was nervous probably the whole time or just overexcited. Um, but I think every single part of the process, um, you look forward to and just enjoy even how does that manifest for you? Like the nerves, is it a dry mouth? Is it shaky legs? Is it everything? <laughs> I don't even know. It's more just like, I don't know. Like I'm just so anxious, super like twitchy. I don't know. I uh, just, nerves also, sometimes the heart races, sometimes it's just sort of like, I don't know. There's a, I don't really get like the dry, it's a cotton mouth or a dry mouth or, but more just like, anxious and twitchy, I would say. Hey, that student section for an exhibition game was packed. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you? 
just walking out uh, even even during the warm ups. No, it's amazing to see. Um, I miss the student section so much. I know. I think the last home game we had at Gamble that I played in was the UCF game oh, where yeah. I engaged yeah. with the crowd. And then this <laughs> one, coming back in the end one, I was looking for something to do and standing right next to my favorite student section ever. So just to engage with them and to see them support us um, and be so excited that the, that the season is starting and that they can cheer us on again and we need their support, we love their support, and it means a lot to us. Is you guys, are you all sniffing the opportunity to maybe be number one when the next poll comes out? Uh, you know, what that might say about, uh, you know, to those who talked about this as a dynasty that was on its way out. Yeah, we don't care at all about the ranking, where we are. Preseason rankings don't mean a thing. Um, just because nobody's played a game yet, nobody's sort of proven and shown who they are yet. Um, and regardless of what number we are, I feel like everyone – on this team has a chip on their shoulder like we're unranked like we feel like sort of like the underdog like I mean we haven't we've been on our seniors and and the people here who have been here the longest haven't won a national championship and that's that's all we really work for here and so and so we get we get that we won't be satisfied with a, a number next Sunday. Besides hopefully it went tomorrow do you even plan to celebrate your return for yourself whether it's a dinner or a breakfast or something? <laughs> no I just to play basketball I think it's a celebration. Caroline talked about how during the steps of your rehab, when you hit a goal or um, just got off the crutches, she would have these little parties uh, or just celebrations for you because that's what she did when she was coming back from her ACL. How much did those mean to you? They meant a lot um, just to see other people recognize how hard you're working and for them to see how much you're going through and for them to be able to be there to support. Um, we would call them like toast where we would have Shirley Temple in the training room and We'd all just be together and just sort of celebrate um, the many milestones. But it means everything just because when you're going through something like that, it's hard to find many victories and, and things to cheer about and be happy about. So for her to do that, for the whole team to sort of have everybody's back like that, it's, it's huge. Were there cupcakes and all that or just Shirley Temples and some conversation? No, sometimes there would be like cakes, cupcakes, um, different types of desserts, Rice Krispies. <laughs> There'll be a lot of different things. We got a lot of like, a, lot, a lot of great makers. Do you have a favorite? I, I am a huge rice krispie girl. <laughs> like rice krispie plain or, or just... yeah treats. Okay, but not like the ones that are in the packages, like the homemade, like <laughs> made with love ones. <laughs> Paige, who's the who are the funnier members of this team that get you guys cracked up, relaxed, and goosey goosey? Honestly, I feel like everyone has a, a huge sense of humor, and we're all different in in the way that we joke around, but. Same time, we're all different. We all have the same sense of humor. But I would say KK, Nika, Amari, Aubrey, Aaliyah, our whole roster of you. What was Amari's fun fact today? Did, you, did, did she have one? Not today. I didn't see her enough today. We had a busy class schedule, but I'm sure I'll get one later. Do you see the excitement in KK? I think they're freshmen about tomorrow and starting their collegiate careers. Yeah, I think they're all excited, um, all anxious to play. Um, you can, like, sort of feel the vibes in practice of how everybody's, like, not tired of practicing but ready for an opponent in, in the game to be played. So, yeah, I think the freshmen are really excited and ready to go. How talented is this team? I think this team is very talented. We have a lot of different pieces. We have a lot of different rotations and matchups that we can use that fill a whole lot of different things. Um, and... The, like the versatility and the different ways and different defenses we can run, the different offenses we can run. I think there's a lot of different things that this team can do, um, and I think very talented as well.